my name is Nishkami. Uh, my, my business is Nishkami, a statement piece of culture. And we're at the International African Arts Festival vending. I have statement jewelry. This is handmade from Afghanistan. Um, I have the skirt, an outfit that I made. It's not for sale, but I am taking orders. Um, I have bindis, which is what I'm wearing on my forehead that I've designed. I have an African-shaped one for our people. Um, I have head wraps, so you can wrap, wrap your hair in any one of these styles that you see behind me. So we're here um, enjoying the music, enjoying com connecting with people, enjoying the vibe, and having a good time. Customers are great. The connections have been great. The, the vibe has been great. The conversations, even if... I mean, everything is not about money. You don't always have to buy the product, but as long as you meet somebody, you never know who you can meet while you're here. I do have a Facebook. My Facebook is Nishkami Boutique, N-I-S-H-K-A-M-I -I Boutique, and my Instagram, which is very live at the moment, is at Nishkami. What's up to, to my friend Yanni for giving me the encouragement to start my business? What's up to my family for supporting me while I'm out here? So what's up to my baby Victoria that I'm doing this for? <laughs> Um, my name is Magdalene Davis. Um, I'm here with my family vending um, in my image productions. We've been vending for, for quite a while. Um, my mother, she does handmade uh, jewelry, like these earrings. These are her latest design. I'm a concept artist. I, I, do, I, I do a bit of everything. Uh, I did my hair. I did these three uh, these, uh, braids. It took me three days. Hopefully you're, you'll hear my name. My name is Magdalene Davis. Hopefully you're, you'll hear my name. My name is Magdalene Davis. So, till death do us part, look out for that. Who do I want to say what's up to? Jesus! Hi, my name is Muriel Leong. I'm the owner of GoingDestNatural.com and the goal of my business is to change the perception of natural hair. We need to change the perception of natural hair because 73% of black women are suffering from relaxer-induced alopecia, which is hair loss related to the relaxers and the weaves that we use. And someone's got, something's got to change. But it's not just us, it's society too. Black people are the only people on planet Earth who don't have the human right to wear their God-given dresses natural. All styles related to natural hair, like dreadlocks and cornrows and afros, are stereotyped and are not allowed in corporate America. So that's why we fundamentally need to change the perception of natural hair. And that's what goingdesnatural.com stands for. I put together a hair show. The hair show was called Back to the Future of Our Roots, Natural Hair Show. And we need to go back to the future of our roots because if you want to change the perception, you got to start at the root. One of the things that I did is bad hair uprooted. That's also a book that describes the history of our hair, the untold history of our follicles. And that's also, that's part of what I do, changing, fundamentally changing the perception of natural hair. It's all on going natural.com. I have hair products, I also have natural hair products. It's called Going Natural Hair Care Line. You can find them online. And they are at Sabine's Natural Hair Salon, Sabine's Hallway on Nostrand, available. My contact information, you can always find me on Info at going-natural.com. You can find me online, going-natural.com. On Facebook, going natural 11. You can find us on Instagram, Black Follicles, and on Twitter, Black Follicles, Pinterest, Black Follicles. I want to say what's up to my dad, who's in Suriname, and who's my biggest supporter ever. Without my mom and my dad, I wouldn't be here. I'm from Suriname. That's a really a small country in. in uh, South America between the Guyanas and nobody, no, well, people hardly heard of Suriname, but I had the best parents in the world and that's why I'm here. I always want to say what's up to my dad who's still alive. My mother unfortunately passed away, but a big what's up to my dad. Hotep family, uh, this is uh, Dr. Leonard Jeffries Jr. of New York City College, also of the African world and my Name among the Akan in West Africa is Nana Kwekujua, Ajman II of the Agogo Stool in Asante. It's always a pleasure to come out and be with African peoples when they're about serious build, uh, building together, serious celebration, serious commemorating. And so that's what they have here. This is the 45th year in Brooklyn. And for me, this is a, one of the greatest of Brooklyn's activity. The festival. Labor Day is a good jump up. A couple of million people are there. But this is a put down, put down your roots, put down your business 
link up and start to build together. So I'm glad that the brothers and sisters have been able to continue this for, for 45 years. Whenever I get a chance and I'm in the, in the country, I'm here. Doesn't matter whether it, there's a storm or not, we're all here. And you see so many of the friends, you see your culture alive and well. And you don't see any conflicts. In all these years, there's been never have any, any stabbings, any people being killed, any, any riots. It's really one of the best examples of what I call the African value system of the three C's, communal, cooperative, and collective. Communal, living together. Cooperative, working together. Collective, sharing together. That's what this is all about. We're in the period of African Renaissance, rebirth, regeneration. And we gotta work with these powerful young men and women between 15 and 25. That's a crucial age of transformation. But we gotta put the foundation in our communities, in our families, in our institutions. So wake up Africans, take control of your destiny. The struggle continues. Well, my name is Mashari of Uniquely Wired M. And I'm out here with my people, supporting in hopes of they're supporting me and showing them a new style of jewelry that's unique and different. And um, yeah, just to be amongst my people and enjoy in the vibes of the African Art Festival. I consider myself art, so why not? Well, it's uniquely wired because I am one unique and I'm wired to different fields outside of just wired jewelry. I do hair, I do makeup, I act, I model, I paint, um, and I'm also a mom. So adding that all in makes me very unique and wired to different fields. And plus my name starts with an M. So that's pretty much uniquely wired M. Oh, the Copper Queen came because of my crowns, these beautiful crowns that I, I make from scratch from my hands. And I use copper because I feel at this point in time, a lot of people are so used to gold and silver and forget about copper. And to me, copper has the most properties from joint pain, arthritis, blood circulation, and it helps take purities and toxins that shouldn't be in your body out. So yeah, that's pretty much um, how that came about. And I wear it with confidence, like now. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook and soon on the website at Uniquely Wired M. All of it is Uniquely Wired M on all networks. Who I want to say what's up to? To people who are still asleep, like you need to come out and be one amongst the people that are conscious. Hey everybody, my name is Shatavia. I'm the owner of Evanescence and today I am out here selling some amazing aromatherapy handmade scented candles. I also have some aura mist and some body oils. All of my products are chemical free and if you're vegan it's excellent because you can also put my candles on your skin because they have no animal byproducts in them. So the influence behind my candles is ancient comedic science. So the ancient chemists believed that through using certain oils and aromas you can heal the mind, the body and the spirit. So I just want to bring those same sciences back to modern day people to heal us holistically. Yes, if people want to contact me, um, they can actually check out my products on ebonessence.net. So that's E-B-O-N-E-S-S-E-N-C-E dot -E -E net. Um, I'm also on Facebook. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. So you can find me up there as well. What's up to everybody? What's up to all of um, everybody who supported me? Shout out to Nicholas Brooklyn. Because of them, I actually started um, vending. That was probably the first place I vended at, Nicholas Brooklyn. They're also a black-owned business. So what's up to all the upcoming entrepreneurs? If you have a dream, go for your dream. Don't let other people stop you for what you're doing. This is what I'm doing. And if you think it, you can do it. Believe in yourself. Hello, my name is Alexis. I'm from Brooklyn. Why am I here today? Today is the 4th of July, July 4th. And I just felt like I wanted to, everyone else is celebrating this holiday. And this is the way that I decide to celebrate around black people celebrating blackness, African arts, supporting black vendors on a day where everyone is getting our money. Hey, everybody's getting our money for Fourth of July mer merchandise. So I'm giving my money back to the vendors and back in the hands of our communities. So that's why I'm here today. <laughs> I wanted to showcase my stomach because, hey, this is my first time ever being pregnant. So it's just a beautiful experience and I feel like my stomach is beautiful so I'm just 
I'm out here. My name is Shakaya, and I came out to see all the beautiful people and all the vendors. And I'm here with my friends. This is my first time here. Yeah, definitely. I'm expecting a boy and in one month, and I can't wait to bring him. And it's really exciting carrying life for the first time. It's a really surreal experience. Actually, I actually didn't get that advice from anyone, surprisingly. I expected to, but I didn't. And right away, as soon as I found out, I knew that, you know, it's mine and it's a blessing. And there's no reason to not, you know, keep and love this baby. Don't go to Planned Parenthood. Uh, what's up with y'all, man? It's Eli, a.k.a. Goldmines, a.k.a. Shaka. I'm here today just to support my culture and, you know, my roots and what I come from. Just to show some love, to come out, give back to the people, you know. Make sure you guys check out my new mixtape that's dropping. You can um, follow me at G O L D M N D Z Gold Mines on Instagram. Um, I got a new mixtape dropping. Check that out soon, featuring Rick Ross, a couple other people. Live from BK, no DJ. I started rapping in papers, or was it pre K? BK is where your boy E started, so I'm ready for the rest of the world. Look what you started. Hello, good evening, Coco Kabibi Jaweta. I am here to represent What's Up TV and the African International Arts Festival. It's always a great event. We're back in here 2016. Everything is good. We have the great vendors out here. We have the great dancers out here, performers, everything. It's all love. It's all a great, great scenery. Come out of here. Last day. Check the vibes. Everything is cool. What's up, TV? Love. My name is Ashita Dwyer, and I'm visiting from Jamaica and Canada. No, Jamaica as in original jam down, Jamaica. I came here because my people are here. African people from all around the world are here. I'm also here because I think it is important that we honor the institutions that African people built in the diaspora um, that seek to mobilize um, our people in the midst of progressive brutality around the world. So that's why I'm here. I do a lot of work with foods, with living foods, food sovereignty, um, yeah, the importance of Having dominion over the things that we put in our bodies and our minds um, is, is, is the work that I'm doing. But I have a background in museums, culture, and so that's immediately what brings me here. Is I'm, I'm always trying to see what are the institutions culturally in our community um, that are lasting and how I can bring that forward for my generation. So that's absolutely why I'm here. I want to say what's up to all black people people all around the world. I want to give my love to all my people all around the world. Yes, that's who I want to say what's up to.